today we're out for a lovely mudlark. We're going to have a little mudlark around. Uh, are you ready for a bit of a mudlark? <laughs> I'm ready for a bit of a mudlark. How many times yeah. can we say mudlark? I think we can squeeze a mudlark in while we're here. We'll just go look at our surroundings. We'll show you some of the surroundings before we mm. get stuck in. Very thick walls. The same needs are very thick walls here. Thick. Must have been the day of the thick walls. The year of the thick wall. Very thick. Build it, but make sure it's mm. thick. Mm. That's quite a thick wall, isn't it? Yeah, quite big. Yeah. Big stones on the top there, aren't they? So much history here. It's hard to think, you know, and many, many years ago, there's so much going on here in this state. It'd be nice to, have, uh, to go back in time and just to stand here, see what's going on in them days. It'd be lovely, wouldn't you think? Yeah, a very busy cotton mill, I would imagine. Yeah, yeah. there's loads of it all over, it's all, all over the place. Yeah. It probably goes further back up there. We never park this end, we normally park way up the other end. Mm. Every time we come somewhere, we always say we park somewhere else, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> we, we always, always learn by our house. mistakes. So we, 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 we learn, yeah. But this would have been some sort of build, I don't think out an outer part of the building. Yeah. I don't know. What would it just say there was a, if you looked on that plaque. If you were a bricklayer. Say... If I was a bricklayer and they said, I want you to build a building here for the mill. And they gave me these bricks. Stones. These yeah. stones. I would say, get the hell out of it. Get me some proper bricks. <laughs> Right, we just got down to the little bit of beach here at Healy Dell. Um, I can see lots of little pieces knocking about, so you know what? I'm going to bring you with me and you're going to help me discover if we've got anything that exciting or not. What's that? That's just off a, a brown pot, isn't it? Bit of glass. Nice bit of crackle. Yeah, there's lots, lots of little bits, bits and pieces. Oh, what's that? There we go. A nice piece of blue and white. Lots of bits of glass. It looks quite thin. A bit of blue. A bit of blue, but not very worn. Yeah, brown. So lots of little bits and pieces here. I can't see anything exciting yet. Let me just wash this bit of blue one that we've just got now. Yeah, it's a bit like, I don't know if it's a fern or something like that. But yeah, that's a usable piece. Plain more pieces here. It's a lot fiercer, this river, than when we came here in the winter. It was calmer in the winter. 
Oh, you know what that is? Do you remember that um, dish I dug up when we went to um, Hepp's Hep Hep Store, was it called? The one that we dug up on the path. It's one of those, isn't it? One of those little dishes. Right, I can't see anything of any colour here. Oh, there's a bit of blue there, a bit of blue and white stripe. But yeah, no, I just thought I'd bring you with me. Discover it together. It's a nice bit of crackle. I'm liking the crackle pieces on the um, candlesticks, actually, they look really nice. Oh, I think that's part of the same thing we've just found. It's a bit washed out, you can't see it. A bit, a bit of blue and white on there. All right, let me test out the new wellies, as you can see. Got some nice new B wellies. Um, Good old Sainsbury's. Sainsbury's doing my favourite wellies. Right, bit of blue and white stripe. Right. See what I mean? It's littered. Absolutely littered with it. Nothing exciting yet. But you know, early days. We've only just got here, haven't we? Right, well I can see a big white piece in there with something on. It's either something on or crackle. I can't quite tell from up here. But oh god, it's cold. Let's have a look. Oh, oh well, it's part of a some part of a scene. I can see someone's legs. A tree. Oh, no, I like that. Oh, that's good. I wonder if that was a cup or something like that, maybe. It's quite big, though. It's quite big. I don't know if it's a cup. Yep, I like that. A little bit of a scene. You never know. Someone might even know what scene it's from. So, yep, that's a keeper. A little bit of blue there. You know that? A rainy day. Well, I've not been here for a long time. I'm on the mobile mic today, testing out again. Last time I used it, it was very windy. We'll see how it sounds. Well, at least this water here is lovely and clear. We can see right the way into the bottom which is nice it's not got that gunky layer on it you know like we've had the last um, few weeks it's got a gunky layer it's so nice and clear right well i've just bent down into the water and picked up some uh ones with blue and white pattern on blue and white stripe it looks a bit washed out on here so maybe a close-up at the end with one with mixed camera i think might be a bit better there but yeah couple of nice pieces wouldn't mind a be bottleneck and uh i don't know dare i wish for another marble We'll see, let's keep looking. Right, well, I've just got a few little bits down here, so let's let's investigate them together. I'd like to bring you with me. Oh, there we go. Another little bit of blue and white with a crackle. What's that? Oh, half, half a bottleneck. That's no good for us, is it? Let's have a look, is there anything else? It's glass. Lots of bits of broken glass. They've not managed to uh, tumble down here very well. See his hair bubble. Oh, there's a bit of white in there. Let's see if there's anything on the other side. You never know. Oh, there you go. Bit of stripe. Bit of the black stripe. I wonder if they were soup bowls. Found a lot of the uh, black and white and blue stripes. Do you know? Let's keep looking. What's that? It's a chunk of glass. Let's see. Let's wash it together. Just a chunk of glass, isn't it? Nothing exciting. We don't need to keep hold of that. Well, that looks like the remnants of a chunky bottle. Always a sad sight. Oh, a bit of a lip of one as well. There you go. Look, just give it a bit of a wash. A bit of a lip of an old bottle, isn't it? And then a nice thick, chunky. Let's give it a bit of a wash. Nice thick, chunky piece of glass. Yeah, well, I might use those on the candles to catch myself. I will take those. Oh, and I'm glad to see that um, the uh, that Penny got the candlestick holder that um, she won last time we went live. It was probably a few weeks ago from seeing this video, but yeah. Penny in uh, America, she won a candlestick holder that I made and I sent it to her and she got it. Nice and safe, all in one piece. So yeah, I'm going to make another one. Thank <laughs> you. 
bit of green there, but I don't think we'll be keeping that. It's, it's a bit modern now. A little bit downhill, Grab. I don't know about that. If I, get, I don't know. I'm going to keep that. It has lots of crackle on it. And uh, I'm going to keep it. Tell you what, there is a lot of very bashed up glass round here. So it obviously gets a very fierce river, this, before it gets here. But look, that's one of them square ones, probably the neck of that one I've just found. Probably the neck is belongs to this one, one of those square ones. But yeah, there's just loads of broken, broken bottles, look at that. So yeah, I don't think this river is very kind to all the stuff that floats down it. And there's a very old, very old piece of blue, blue and white there. But I think I can see some things, yeah, a few things over there, so. Let's have a look, some more broken glass down there. Right, you might as well come with me, since you're here now. A twig. Right, it's not too deep here for the minute. No, it's a bit plain, what's that there? No, I thought there was a bit of pipe stem. <laughs> I think I did find pipe stem here last time, actually. Not much, but yeah, I think we just found a couple. Oh, tell you what we did find here. It was, um, it had a heel on it, it was a pipe. A bit of pipe stem with a heel still on it. Let's see. See, this is what it involves, really. This is the reality of mudlarking. A lot of wading and turning over bits of pottery that have nothing on the other side. And then hoping when I do switch the camera on. I'm switching it on for an exciting find. Let's have a look down here. Plain. But look at that, it's lovely and clear. So nice not to have all that gunk on the bottom as well. Just so many remnants. Maybe we need to go a couple of miles up there. A couple of miles up that way before it all gets smashed. to have come across a pile of uh, pottery here. Obviously somebody's been here before us and had a bit of a bit of a mooch about. It's a bit of a thick base. Let's have, tell you what, let's have a bit of a turnover together just in case there's something exciting that they've left behind for us. This is lazy mudlarking, isn't it? There we go, a bit of willow on that one. What glass is that? Another thick piece of glass. So yeah, it looks like someone's been here before us. Had a good mooch, probably took all the pretty pieces. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, some more. But this is mudlarking without the effort, isn't it? But yeah, we'll leave these here for somebody else as well. A bit small, to make sure it's something I can use. Yeah, I've got to be, uh, quite particular I can't just bring it all home I've got to look at it and think can I use it will it get used for something there we go we'll leave that pile for somebody else another mudlarker might come along and need some pottery for their project so we'll leave that there oh there's a I nearly missed that piece oh no, it's a stone <laughs> that one can stay there what I'm going to do I'm going to investigate along here because these are the sorts of places underneath logs that stuff tends to accumulate. Uh, that's a jar of something, isn't it? It's a glass, it's just so much glass. Broken, but what shame, it's broken. But look, just got tons of white here. I don't know why there's so much white here. But yeah, there's a lot of it. Good, nice bit of uh, blue glass. Let's all see. See, look, there's loads. That's got 
remnants of letters on that one. See what I mean about the the log attracting the so look that's all unless someone's put that there. That's sort of attracted all the glass, hasn't it? Down this bit. Oh, hang on, what's that? Oh god, please let it be the full one and not just the top. Oh my gosh, it's a stopper. Wow, all of it. It's a bit chipped at the end. A bit dirty. Oh, that's a great find. Just shows you the glass is accumulating around here. See if there's anything else that's... No, just bits of broken glass. How's that not broken then and everything else is broken around it? That's brilliant. Glass stopper. You know what? I don't often find them either. Oh yeah, great find. All right, some more with some letters on. Okay, so all the glass sort of drifting towards this bit and going underneath there. Yep, yeah, I am very, very pleased with that. Yeah, best find so far. Just trying to find another spot now. Got a bit crowded there, so we decided to move on. Everywhere you look, there's people wandering around. Well, it's a lovely day, and it's a beautiful park. We've uh, come to Heady Dale, by the way. Uh, see how we're getting on here. A few little finds. Right, we're just going to go further upstream and see if we can find anything that's not quite so bashed up. Um, but yeah, we've got a few little gems there. Certainly, yeah. Uh, it's got my mind working, thinking what I can create with that. Very pleased to get the pipe stems, that's for sure. Um, quite a rare find for there, isn't it? But yeah, we'll go up this way. I mean, there should, there should be loads of stuff here because there was a mill around the corner, wasn't there? A big cotton mill, so, you know, it's been an industrial, an industrious kind of area. So, yep, got the river running to the uh, right of me now. I think we can get down at this bridge as long as it's not too high. So we'll try here, just a little bit further upstream, see if we've got things that aren't quite bashed and broken. Although the bottle stopper wasn't bashed and broken, was it? That was lodged nicely under the uh, under the big fallen tree, wasn't it? Which was handy, with a load of other glass. It's funny how the same things sort of congregate together, don't they? Like you'll find a load of metal things together. But anyway, here we are at the bridge. Um, let's have a look. It, looks, it does look a bit... Um, bit deep here but we'll give it a try. We'll have a go. <laughs> Bowl, and you know what? Perfect, perfect shape. Might round it a little bit there. That's a perfect for a necklace. Yep. Great. Let's keep up. I've just seen some pottery at the corner of my eye down here. It might be too deep. I'm not sure. Let's go in. Let's warm the sleeve up, sorry. Let's put my hand in. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's not too cold. Not too bad. Plain. <laughs> Wasn't worth it. Right. Okay. Yep. Let's keep up. I think I can see a bit of pipe bowl. I'm well, not pipe bowl, gosh. I'd be a bit more excited if it was pipe bowl. I think I can see a bit of pipe. I think I can see two, actually. Right. Gonna see if you can get your eyes accustomed there, see if you can spot it before I go in for it. There, is it? Yes, it is. Brilliant. A bit of pipe stem, but then I spotted. Oh, I'm pointing to it now. I was gonna get you to try and find it. Yeah, two bits of. Oh, that's right. On the bowl, I think, isn't it? Two bits of pipe stem. Great. So I'm so glad I came back to look at the path. Look, oh, more. What's that? That's weird. Oh, it's just the bottom of the bottle, isn't it? But it's quite rounded. How weird. Don't know. Look at that. Two bits of pipe stem. Just from getting closer to the ground here. That's alright. We've had a few good little finds, haven't we? Oh, 
But I just thought I'd examine all the little bits and pieces that I walk past to get to the stream. There we go, there's a, a nice piece straight away. A bit of green. Just a shame, it's uh, all pieces by the time it gets here. So I'd like to know what's upstream. I'd like to know what's up that way. Maybe a few miles up that way that's spewing out all this stuff. Um, I don't know, I don't know where it goes. We'll have to investigate that and maybe go further up to the source of this, all this stuff. But yeah, just loads of, loads of glass, loads of pottery. Oh, I'm gone. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Let me just get it wet. Let me just wash it. We're well on our way, aren't we? Try me a candlestick. That's because that's what we need. That's for the candle. That'll go in the that old uh, bottleneck there. We've got bits of pottery to go on the bottom. Could do with a nice big piece of dough bowl or something exciting to stick it on. Yeah, it's coming together. I do prefer having some a project to do with all the bits and pieces. It just makes it worthwhile, doesn't it? Having something to make, having something to focus on. Otherwise, you're just bringing lots of bits and pieces into your house, aren't you? Right. Oh, that's a very good find. I'm very happy with that. I'm so glad I came back to look on the path. You can see where the water's just eroded the sides away. It's not going to be much path soon, is there? Oh, look at that tunnel there with the bars at the top. What's that for? I don't know if you can see it with my camera. There's a, a tunnel and it's got like these yellow bars at the top of it. Don't know what that is. Unless it's for the kids to play in. I don't know. But anyway, I'm saying that it's all eroded along the edges, look. And soon it'll be right up to the path, I'm sure. But that's Mother Nature for you. Very strong. Very fierce, it just carves its own way, doesn't it? I can feel the force of that water. That feels like milk glass, that one. Or one of them tiles, isn't it, I think. Like the milk, milk glass tiles. I've forgotten what they're called. They're not called milk glass tiles. I'm sure someone will remind me. Right, I'll have one little last look at this bit here. I might even try and get out up here. Oh, hang on, is that... I thought I saw a bit of clay pipe. <gasps> there. It's not though, is it? It's not though, is it? Oh wait, hang on. Yes, it is. Well, what a lucky find that is. A bit of clay pipe just sticking out the, the side like that. Oh, gosh, well there you go. It shows you, it's just everywhere. So it's either come out the bank or it's been forced into the bank, hasn't it? With the, with the weather, let's have a bit of a closer look. That's a twig. <laughs> well, that's a nice little find before I step out the river, isn't it? See if there's anything else here. Right, let's see if we can walk over this bit here. God, you know what? One of these isn't going to fall in. Let's see. Oh, there's a big bit of pottery down there. Is it worth risking getting it? Of course it is. Of course it is. You're here to save me anyway, aren't you? I'm sure you pull me out. Right, what's this? Oh, it's off a big flagon again, isn't it? It's where the handle would have come out. One day. One day. Maybe find a full one. There's a bit of a jam pot. Jam pot lid. I'll go a little bit further along here, actually. This side bit's not too bad. The poor new well is. Been put to the test today, aren't they? Right in at the deep end. Well, that is a little bit shallow here. Let's have a look at the bank actually as well. A bit like looking underneath that log, I might find something. Yeah, can't see anything on the bank. No. Nope. What's that piece there? Let's dive in. Oh, it's a piece of nothing. Don't want to risk leaving it there. There we go on the side. Bit of blue and white, quite a, a light, sorry, I don't know if you can see it, I'd bend over. A light one. Right, we'll go to the other side. Try not to kill ourselves. Oh, that'd be off. You know what, when you look at a piece, you try and figure out what it was. Right, well, it's rounded there, and it's rounded there. So. A dish, maybe? 
I don't know, but I like the crackle on that. I like that. It's that way. Hmm. Usable. Usable, I think. Right, let me just put these few bits that I've got in my bag and then we'll just do a little bit of a search around here just because we can get to the edge here. But otherwise, it's too deep. I mean, look at that wall, that old wall. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these little few bits and pieces in the bag and then we'll just do that little bit down here. Okay, back in a minute. Hello. Hello. Oh, God, is here. Is the river being kind today? Kind? Is it being kind? Um, the river. You know what? I've had a few nice pieces of coffee out the river. Oh. And, um, and a few nice bits from the side. Lovely. We look forward to seeing a roundup about that later uh, on. And can I just apologise for Nick? What can I say? Just let me apologise for him. Carry on. <laughs> Carry on. There's a lovely cup over there, but we can't get it. One thing I'll say about this camera, and it is a good camera, the Canon M50, it's a great camera, it does whip the batteries. But you can get batteries really cheap on eBay or Amazon, I buy them on Amazon, and they always come with a charger. So I've got a, every time I buy, buy batteries, I always just buy it with a charger, it's to, why not? So I've got a couple of chargers, which I keep in different places. So I need to charge any, but I have loads of batteries for this. And if, you, if you've got a Canon M50, just buy batteries, get loads of them. Nothing worse than running out of batteries, nothing worse. So down there having a whale over time. I'm uh, hanging out, just hanging around. I wish uh, these people around here that have doggies would uh, pick up what the dogs do. Because everywhere I look in this park, well, not this park, but everywhere I go, there's dogs shenanigans everywhere well it gets a little bit deep there but i can see well, i could see when i first looked here yeah, there is a piece of blue and white actually in the water Let's see if there's anything else oh, i've just dropped it there we go, a bit of blue and white. Try to see it. See something else over there, but I'm not sure it's got any colour on it. Oh, what's this here? Hang on. Oh, there we go, nice bit of willow. Yeah, nice big bit of willow. What else is there? Let's have a look. Let's get a bit deeper. Bit of nothing. It's just, oh, hang on, is that another bottleneck? Might be another bottleneck, can you see it? I did point to it. Yep, another bottleneck. Well, there you go, just so you think you're not going to find something for your candlesticks, you find two. So we've got quite a collection now for this candlestick from here, haven't we? Is that a bit of blue glass there? That's nice, a bit of blue glass. Oh, it's all coming together now. Right, I've got down to this edge bit now. Wasn't too bad, wasn't too tricky. You can see a few bits though. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah, first one. Nice bit of uh, pattern on there. Let me put my glasses on, see if I can make out what it is. Leaves, looks like leaves. Or the sea, oh, I can't tell. Leaves, yeah, I think it's leaves. Right, let's have a look at the pieces. Nothing on that one. Bit of green, it's gone. Bit of green and it's floated away. Here's a bigger piece. Let's see what this is. Probably a, a piece of uh, flagging, isn't it? Something like that. I hope you can hear me over this water. Yeah, probably a piece of flagging. We'll pop that one back. We don't need that. What's this? Plain. You can see a bit of pink. Oh, pink and a like a stripy bit on the other side. Hmm, very strange. Let's see, is there anything else? While we're down here, got to get back out of here yet. <laughs> got the things to do. Waiting for it. Oh, just, don't worry. <laughs> I'm not going back in for that, I can't see it. When it gets quite rough like this, you can't really see what's underneath. Well, I can see a big piece there, so while we're here, 
in the middle of this water we might as well have a look eh oh so it's the base of something base of something quite small as well yep yep more pieces right near me welly oh has that one got something on oh that's got something let me put my glasses on because that looks interesting oh I think it's part of a bird oh he's got his head cut off poor little pigeon oh what a nice little find and that one's got a fancy pattern there and on the other, oh, something on the other side as well looks like a bit of grass maybe from the same one probably looks like it doesn't it same sort of colour right well, let's go see if we can get down there oh I just caught my hand on a load of nettles now that is not pleasant at all that stings oh is there any dock leaves how do you know what a dock leaf looks like? They're big, aren't they? They're always near nettles. They're not a dock leaf, so they're not big enough. But anyway, you're supposed to put dock leaves on your, on your nettle stings and they're supposed to grow near nettles. Just uh, not here today. That's a stinger. I've got to try and ignore it. But I've picked up those little pieces there. There's nothing there. Chunky bits of glass. Old bits of glass there. Oh, yeah, just lots of pieces. Oh, look at that! Oh, look, that's a good find. I was just going to say lots of pieces of nothing, like I always do. There you go. That's lovely. Oh, I think that might clean up nicely. Yeah, what's that? That's a funny shape. Oh, look at that! It's like a I don't know, a foot off something. Sorry, I had a white itchy my chin. Uh, it's a foot off something, that isn't it? Bottom of a, a pot with a foot on. Oh, I think I'm going to keep that. Yes, I'm going to keep that one. Right, let's have a look. Small glass. Look, small glass there. Oh, there's a bumpy textured glass. Is it that safety glass? Bit of safety glass again. What else have we got? Oh, oh it's a bit slippy here. You might see me go in. Bit of blue. Blue, blue and white stripe. There's, just, there's so much of that blue and white stripe stuff. Honestly, everybody's breakfast bowl. What's that one? Something or nothing? Nothing. Oh, another one of them little pots. Let's see if we can go in here without slipping right the way down there. I can see. Good old. Oh, let me put my sleeve up. Let's have a put my sleeve up. Good wedge of jam pot there, Ridge Pottery. What's that one? Oh, nice bit of blue and white. So we'll put these last few bits in the bag and then we'll have a look at these three bits here. As soon as we can get down here. There's a number plate down there, unfortunately. I can't, oh, there's a cup over there. I can't get over there, they'd have to swim. <laughs> and I'm not prepared to swim. Uh, right, so we'll just put these few bits and pieces in and then we'll have one last, one last little scour around here. Right, there's a mix over the way. Some sort of piece to camera. And I've brought you back so we can carry on doing this last bit of bank. No, that's plain. Plain, so it's obviously a, a lot further upstream, isn't it? That's a handle. A lot further upstream where it's um, the whole pieces. Nice bit of crackle. It's worth picking them up though, isn't it? Because it's all the ones you think that don't have anything on the other side. You do. And you would miss them if you just walked past them. What's that one? That was just dirty. Just a dirty one. Oh, there we go. Nice bit of pink. Pink pattern. Yep. Bit broken. More glass. Definitely the place for glass. Right, we're going to sign out of here now. We're going to uh, make our way home. We've had a nice day. I had a nice day. Yeah, it was all right. It's okay. It was an all right day. It was good. Uh, we're going to shoot home. Um, you have a roundup. Uh, a little roundup. I'm going to make something. I've got enough to make um, so, yeah. and the holder at least. Okay, I'll have a little makey up going here. If you enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit like, and.
bash that notification bell, really bash it. And also, if you did enjoy our video and you felt like you could buy us a coffee, um, please don't forget we've got the coffee link down below and uh, we will give you a shout out. Don't forget we do run a couple of videos behind, so your shout out will be in You'll get there eventually. Weeks. Yeah. And if we yeah. have forgot you for some reason because there's a couple of weeks behind, just remind us. Yeah, just remind us because we will have drunk your coffee. Yeah, we've been <laughs> gone a long time. So we'll see you later on in our roundup. Catch you later on. Yeah. Bye bye. Bye. Right, well that was nice. I actually got more than I thought I'd got. Um, when I came home, I realised uh, we'd picked up quite a few bits. Right, so let's run you through what we got then. Um, lots of pottery. Um, lots of the dough bowl. I managed to make a um, candle holder as well. Remember we, we pulled what's probably a cup or maybe a jar with the pattern on there. A few pieces of pottery. Um, I haven't used one of the pipe stems that I found because I like to put the pipe stems that I found well, I do now. I like to put the pipe stems that I found into the picture frame and I used one of my crafting stems that somebody sent me from the Thames um, a couple of weeks ago. So, yeah, I've, I've spared one of those. I'll use those on these oops, on these things. Um, but other than that, the ones that I find will go in my picture frame. So, yeah, lots of pottery, lots of different patterns. Lots of different colours. Willow, we all know Willow. Speaking of Willow... Let's go over here. There was a stall in the village, um, not last week, the week before. And just a stall of books, a stall of bric-a-brac, just some fella at a stall for just no reason. And I saw this. And I said, oh, how much is it? He went, oh, well, you know, it's very old. And I thought, oh, God, here we go. I was going to say a tenner. He said, it's a quid, all right. <laughs> I went, yes, absolutely. So, yeah, this big meat dish with a little... Um, is it a juices or a gravy collecting well in it? So yeah, a lovely. It's mass. It's massive. You can put my hand on it. You can see it's absolutely gigantic. Put my gammon joint on there. It looked like nothing. Um, but if we ever have a thirty pound turkey, we can put it on there, can't we? But yeah, look at it. I got it for a pound. Isn't it amazing? A full one. Not even. Not even just a little piece. Look like a little piece like that. Wonder if. Wonder if we can find that pattern on there. You know what? It's right there. There it is. Obviously that's a smaller a smaller plate, but straight to it. There's the pattern of that piece that I found. So I'll show you that. And then there is where it's come from. There you go, just to show you that it's a willow pattern, but isn't that amazing? Anyway, back to what I found. Best find by far is probably that bottle stopper that it's collected underneath that log with all those other pieces of glass. Um, and these, the, the actual um, bottlenecks that I found, they are really old. Because look, they've got an applied applied lip on. So they're really old. Same as that one there. You can't really see, but take my word for it, it's the same. A big chunky piece of glass there. Another applied lip on that one as well. That big, other big chunky one. So yeah, it was a good day. Now I wanted to show you this. Do you remember? I made it a few weeks ago. In, probably, it's, in fact, it's probably about a month or so ago now. And I said you wouldn't be able to pick it up by that. But the glue that I use, it's silicon glue. And it's absolutely rock solid now. So do you remember I made it made it look like an old fashioned, you know, pick me up light like that. So yeah, I use silicon glue. Well it's silicon sealant actually. I did actually send um a candlestick holder to America and it was stuck together with the silicon glue. And let me tell you it reached there in one piece. So, if you're thinking of sending things that are quite heavy, use silicon glue to stick it together, because not only that, they can stick it outside, because it's waterproof. The glue won't wash away. The glue won't deteriorate. It's silicon. It's meant to be, you know, splashed on, what have you. So, yeah, a little tip for you there. Use silicon glue. I mean, sometimes you do have to hold it on a little bit um, to get it to stick, but, you know, it's just a little trick. And this, what I found here, I can't figure out what it is. So, it's like it's got an edge there. It's got an edge there. And see, that's the profile of it. So it, it reminds me of a little dish. But then it's got that bit there that's like goes down, but it's still an edge. So I'm thinking maybe that way. So that way, it's a little shallow dish because it would be like make it look like a leg. So up and down again. And then maybe a couple of more times around it. I don't know. What do you think? 
a little dish. Maybe it's a little dog's dog's dish, is it? I don't know. It's old anyway. You can tell it's old. Look at that crackle on it. It's lovely. Right, so there you go. There you have it. Showed you what I found in the village for sale for a pound. Um, I'll put you up to date on the uh, the glue situation on that, but it works fine. And here's all my lovely little finds. And there's the candlestick I've made, which is just still drying. It's still wet. I've only just made it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like. Don't forget to smash that bell. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. And if you're feeling generous and you'd like to buy me and make a coffee, please go to the code for link down below where you can donate the price of a coffee. And trust me, we do have coffees and we will give you a shout out. But if we ever forget to give you a shout out, just give us a nudge and we will give you a shout out in the next one for sure. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next week. I don't know where we're going to be, but I'm sure it's going to be very, very exciting. <laughs>